Hi, my name is James Matthew Godaw from May Tennessee. I am here to present to you Newton's Laws of Motion. Sir Isaac Newton's first law states that an object at rest will remain at rest and an object in motion will remain in motion unless acted upon by an imbalanced force. Let's take this for an example. This set of pool balls are at rest. However, when I hit the cue ball with a pull stick, move forward and put the other balls in motion. This is called the law of inertia. In this case, the balls were at rest until the break-in. The second law says that the acceleration of an object depends on the mass of the object and the amount of force applied. To better understand it, I will hit the cue ball with full strength. This time, I will hit the lesser strength. Notice the difference from the two. The balls are pushed with different forces, resulting in different speed. This is called the law of acceleration. Further, the third law states that every action has an equal opposite reaction. Let's take this for an example. When the ball hits the bumper, it is pushed back with the same amount of force that it hit the bumper with. This is called the law of interaction. To sum up, this law tells us exactly how things move or sit still. For instance, knowing the third law tells us exactly why you don't punch a wall. Because when you punch a wall, it hits back with the same amount of force you use. The wall always wins. That's called action-reaction. Basically, that's how everything around us moves in our everyday life. From different sports such as swimming and bowling, different games such as tug of war and arm wrestling, or just doing things we used to do every day like walking or riding a bicycle. Newton's law of motion is applied in our everyday living. And that's a wrap. Thank you for watching.